It's time now for the Peer Channel Afternoon News, Sunday, October 19th, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here now. Yeah, top stories at 12.30 here. And we're going to start it off with... In Galveston, Texas, where a Dallas hospital lab worker who spent much of a cruise holiday in isolation after possible exposure to Ebola has tested negative for the disease that in Texas some of the dozens of people still being monitored were expected. America's top infectious disease expert on Sunday again acknowledged that the safety protocols used for the nation's first Ebola patient were inadequate and that the Obama administration overstated the country's readiness for the deadly virus has been concerned. Shotsville Police Chief Timothy Longo and that Sunday evening and Saturday evening that a body has been discovered at a demand department that to be an official indication of Hanagram was pending. A tape three of Pope Paul VI was beatified on Sunday by Pope Francis was unveiled on the balcony of the St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Very started Brad Pitt with the box office weekend race. Turns out, having a week off to the diminish military state poll status as the Bulldogs remained atop the Amway call. Just pulled the fact that straight in its lead at number two for the state despite the Seminoles win against another top five opponent. In Chelsea, two people were killed during a pair of overnight shootings in Chelsea that in case do not believe were connected. HK Hong Kong leader says more time needed to resolve stand off fresh clashes at Mong Kok protests hotspot. Talks planned between students and city government. In Seoul, soldiers from the two Koreas traded gunfire Sunday after North Korean guards approached the border. The latest in a series of aggressive moves by Pyongyang at the area ahead of the planned high level talks. Family members have been paid tribute to the former First Minister Ian Paisley at a memorial service at Belfast. Mr. Paisley, the founder of the Democratic Unionist Party, died on September 12th at the age of 88. In Johannesburg, the man convicted for the murder of a woman that killed on honeymoon in Cape Town has died, and that's South Africa's Department of Correctional Services. Here, the Swedish military search for evidence of a suspected undersea activity in its water has entered its third day amid reports of a suspected Russian intrusion. In Jaffrey, New Hampshire, on Mugman, a conqueror's peak, and file up to the 3,165 foot peak in lockstep protected from drizzling rain on a little bit of golden canopy of leaves as New England breaking in millions of leaf peepers. Save the foliage up in New England near. Local police, firefighters, and ambulances in the New Hampshire respond to a large crowd of students as the annual pumpkin festival is underway near Kent State College Saturday as mayhem erupted near pumpkin fest in New Hampshire last night here. Saturday at homicide trial, likely the battle of experts. President Obama's selection to lead the administration of Zimbabwe response to both praise and criticism from guests at the Sunday morning political shows. Police found a brutal scene inside an apartment in Brooklyn's Bushwick neighborhood when they discovered a three-year-old unconscious and a response on Saturday as three-year-old girl was beaten to death in New York City apartment of five-year-old brothers. Witness it. Tesla calls on consumers to help them contact the governor of Michigan to urge him to veto House Bill 5606 will prevent the car maker from directly selling their products. Average mortgage rates have gone down, making it informal for people to buy, to look and to buy it at home. With the roll out of the Apple Pay next Monday, the checkout experience is expected to involve some of the biggest retailers and restaurants in the United States. Apple's unveiling of a new iMac with Renta 5K display last week was perhaps muted a bit, coming in the d -d 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 of a major product clock to the Cupertino, which also saw the current raise of two new iPads, including the Apple iPad Air 2. In Birdman, a Washington actor who once played an iconic superhero must overcome his ego and family trouble as he tries to reclaim his past glory. Joanne McGilla, who was a contestant on season 7 of American Idol, died Saturday after a long battle and the Petroleum Cancer Court in a post on her Facebook page. She was 32 years old. According to NASA, the 1934 threat is the worst threat to have struck North America in the past, as in the past millennia, as researchers with a space agency says, 1930s America was plagued by numerous threats that destroyed farms and killed swaps of livestock. The Vancouver Aquarium and the North Shore Oceanic and the Spirit administration have used an unmanned aerial level for the vehicles to capture amazing photos and video footage of kill whales in a natural habitat. Our experienced field scientists conducted research in the Amazon was started recently with one of the largest spiders in the world attempting to attack them. A cosmic rock that is older than mankind is expected to come within 87,000 miles of Mars later today, and our impression of comets setting ring flyby off Mars. The Fear of Ebola has spread faster in America than the virus itself as Ebola has affected American psych forcing us to do risk analysis of a pathogen we know little about. In Dallas, what's the fame as a city that killed Kennedy? This community used the assassination of the 15th anniversary last to record that they include once more as JK Dubois. Dallas again feels the weight of a nation. 
Take a look at three linens and alerts. Here, a river fire department at work and fire at 64th Street, a fire floor, three of a three style wood frame, a three story wood frame. In Wellfleet, Massachusetts, Old County Road, in the area of Brown Brook Road, a motor vehicle accident with a pole with airbound equipment. Police Department location reported PI. Lawrence, Massachusetts, by the way, there's a second alarm fire on a Four two of our structure. Peabody, Massachusetts, motorcycle down to Bay Street, Met Flight requested. Added overnight on Sunday at 2.57 a.m. Troopers from the St. Police Barracks in Boston and Brenton responded to calls for head on crash on the Jamaica Way at Perkins Street in Boston at 2007 BMW 530XI with three occupants directed to the 2002. Toyota Camry with two occupants to the passengers from the BMW 44 year old Everett woman and 33 year old Wolverine woman were pronounced dead at the scene. The two women did not have their seatbelts on and was driven via factory nets. The driver of the BMW 26 year old Hyde Park woman was transported to Beth Israel Hospital for not, not credited injuries. The occupants of the Toyota were also transported to Beth Israel Hospital. The operator, a 36 year old Brazil Dale man, did not not credited injuries. The passenger tour is a critical condition that has not yet been identified. The initial investigation of the crash indicates that BMW crossed the center lane markers and the vehicle was flying head on. As since the scene were the troop investigators and the patrol supervisor from the state police headquarters of South Boston, the South Police Detective Unit from the Southern County District Attorney's Office. The closure analysis and reconstruction section that's crime set services section of the Boston Fire Department and EMS, the Boston Police and Brooklyn Police and the Brooklyn Police and the Jamaican Way was impassable and remained closed about the crash investigation reopened at 6.35 a.m. this morning. Here, take a look at sports highlights. Here, take a look at sports news. Here, what is eight linebacker Terrence Mill? Field of questions with resolute sweat on this board. The lingering display from a 60-minute tussle with no, the name blue set for the plug racket in his neck and over his torso. Nebraska's demonic personnel quickly establishes his reputation as one of the nation's top punt returners. This freshman can do more than special teams. Calvin Johnson will miss his second straight game because of high ankle sprain, but the North States will have the best receiver on field for NFL. NFC showdown today against the Detroit Lions says, I will have the NFL scores on the NFL scoreboard at 7 o'clock here. And the complete sports news on the Sunday night sports wrap right after the 11 o'clock news here. Peter Channel News on 12.38. Time now for a little Trevor report here. And there's an event going on at the Comcast Center. Autism Speaks. So try to observe extra in that area here. South Face Express on the northbound side. And it's backed up from Furnace Brook Parkway all the way down to Morsley Boulevard, Dorchester. Mass Park in the eastbound side. It's slowly to approach 120 in the west in here. Mass Park on the westbound side. It's backed up from 290 in Auburn down to the Charlton West area here. <clears throat> and 93 southbound slow from Route 102 in London, New Hampshire to Salem, New Hampshire, doing the next on the 93 on the southbound side. Near Route 38 up in Salem, New Hampshire, so try to some extra time here in that area. Here, but otherwise, a smooth sailing commute on this Sunday afternoon as we have an accident on and a slow spot. There's Route 6 west from Sandridge all the way down to Sagamore Bridge here. And exit on Route 24 in Berkeley here. So trust us up extra time in that area here. Peter Channel News on 1239. Coming out of our water report here on this Sunday afternoon here. But this afternoon, nice lady showers. Most of got high about 34 degrees. Northwest, what about 11 miles? Like this size, 23 miles by transportation, 20%. Tonight, Petrobras at 11 p.m. Mobiles, most of the coast got low about 20 degrees. Northwest, what about 5 miles? Become a light west after midnight. Monday, airs of frost before 10 a.m. above west. Most of the sky about 58 degrees. Light west wind will become southwest about 5 to 9 miles in the morning. My night, slight chance of rain after 1 a.m. and most of the sky got a low about 40 degrees. Southwest wind about 6 miles become a common evening. Chest base to 20 percent. Tuesday, chest of rain. Cross sky high about 6 degrees. Cold wind becomes southeast about 6 miles in the morning. Chest base to 50 percent. Tuesday, rain luckily. Cross sky low about 51 degrees. Chest base to 6 percent. Wednesday, chest of rain luckily. Cross sky low. Wednesday, chest of rain, class got high about 61 degrees, chest of rain should 10%. Wednesday, rain likely, class got low about 40 degrees, chest of rain should 70%. Thursday, rain likely, class got high about 62 degrees, chest of rain should 6%. Thursday, chest of rain, most class got about low about 45 degrees, chest of rain should 4%. Friday, chest of rain, most class got high about 59 degrees, chest of rain should 30%. Friday, Paul class got low about 42 degrees, and for Saturday, most class got about 62 degrees. Not in temperature, 54 degrees, most class got. That's me for the period channel.
afternoon news on October 19th, 2014 on Sunday. PJBC Bible. Good day, we'll see you later. Bye-bye, buddy.